maybe just give you a, a bit of introduction. I mean, uh, you already know this, Vince, but um, I'm actually n not a doctor of computer science. Sadly, I'm not clever enough uh, to be that. I am a, a humble uh, physician um, who paid his way through medical school designing websites. Um, the good news, I suppose, is that I know a thing or two now about building with big websites because um, myself and my teams have been involved in architecting some of the uh, bigger online applications for specific industries in, uh, that have come out of the UK really, really since the web began. We've uh, built systems ranging from big social networks to business applications that are used by government and by uh, the National Health Service that we have in the UK. And, um, and we've gained a great deal of experience in, you know, the, the, the successes but also the pains of uh, growing big online applications and seeing them grow very, very fast. What was the big problem that we always faced? And, you know, it really boiled down to one thing. It was, it was scaling the database layer. That was always the big problem when technology became successful and uh, grew fast and became popular. So we, we grew from being a uh, technology um, house and a, and a web development firm um, to thinking about the fundamental problems of the kind of applications that, that we were building and people build in general and um, started to explore web scale technology, looking at NoSQL, looking at the uh, different things that were out there about three years ago and uh, decided that there was a market that the, uh, the cloud for all its promises were, was uh, also going to present problems for scaling the database as well and um, developed GenieDB. GenieDB set out to solve a very very difficult problem. Um, we wanted to have Event, not eventual consistency, but immediate consistency in a fully replicated environment. Uh, we wanted some self-healing, that would be handy. Um, I'm used to not getting sleep at night, but you know, we don't want to do that for the rest of our lives. Building web apps that keep us up in order to keep them up and maintained, so um, that, was, uh, that was an important factor in our design, is the self-healing and, and partition tolerance. And uh, finally, we didn't want to be limited, or, or in fact, we didn't want to burden uh, our software developers with, within the limitations of eventual consistency and uh, the limits of key value stores, which really were very, very simple in terms of what they could do. Very good at what they did, but, um, you know, efficiency and speed uh, gave you limitations. And uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of developers aren't part of big teams um, for very big sites that can, can deal with matters like eventual consistency within the app. They just want to build something that is, is invisible to the database, that just scales when the database scales and without them having to worry about it. What we did was think about the problem hard and develop what is not a single database but is in fact a, an architecture that layers um, two databases together and synchronizes them. Uh, one of which, and this is very hard to do without diagrams, but we'll give it a go. One of which is a sharded in memory uh, consistency layer that works in absolute synchrony with our eventual consistency uh, and highly efficient replicated data store. So we in fact don't have one database that uh, can do the impossible. We have two databases that give you the best of both worlds in, uh, in, in ideal situations and performs very, very well during partitions, um, which are commonly seen in cloud networks and with large distributed systems. We believe that this technology and this architecture uh, can be applied to pretty well any database. Um, its principles apply. We can have full replication and enjoy immediate consistency at the same time and, and minimize the effects um, of eventual consistency during, uh, during network partitions. So um, that's kind of a little bit of background to us. Okay.